British National overseas, commonly known as BNO, is one of the major classes of British nationality under British nationality law. Holders of this nationality are British nationals and Commonwealth citizens, but not British citizens. The nationality itself does not grant right of abode anywhere in the world, including United Kingdom or Hong Kong, but most BNO's possess either right of abode or right to land in Hong Kong. BNO's are subject to British immigration controls and do not have the automatic right to live or work in the United Kingdom. The British national overseas status was created by the Hong Kong Act 1985 in anticipation of transfer of sovereignty of Hong Kong on the 1st of July 1997. This nationality was tailor-made for Hong Kong residents with British Dependent Territories Citizen BDTC status by virtue of their connection with Hong Kong, it allowed the people of Hong Kong to retain a relationship with the United Kingdom after the transfer of sovereignty of Hong Kong to China. BNO's enjoy consular protection as British nationals would when travelling outside Hong Kong. However, since most BNO's also hold Chinese nationality, they do not enjoy consular protection in mainland China and Macau, owing to the Master Nationality Rule. From 1 July 1987 to 30 June 1997, nearly 3.4 million of British Dependent Territory citizens in Hong Kong successfully registered for British National overseas. All BDTCs in Hong Kong lost their BDTC status on 1 July 1997, and any BDTC who did not register as a BNO automatically acquired Chinese nationality or British overseas citizenship, depending on their ethnicity. <laughs> Unique characteristics BNO status has the following unique characteristics. It could only be acquired by voluntary registration instead of naturalization. One had to be a British Dependent Territories Citizen BDTC to be eligible for registration. Therefore, Hong Kong residents who were born in mainland China were required to be naturalized as BDTCs to be eligible for registration. Acquisition was only possible for persons who were born on or before 30 June 1997. Registration is no longer possible since 1 January 1998. It is not transmissible by descent through Zhu Sanguinis, so eventually this status would be extinct. BNO is also the only type of British nationality that cannot be acquired through discretional registration by the Home Secretary. British nationals overseas are the only group of British nationals that are legally entitled to hold a passport in that status. BNO's share the following characteristics with other inactive categories of British nationality, i.e., British overseas citizens (BOCs), British subjects (BSs), and British protected persons (BPPs). It can be held in conjunction with other nationalities or citizenship, including another form of British nationality. The majority of BNO's are also Chinese nationals, and it's possible to be a British citizen and a BNO at the same time. Note that this is not possible for BPPs, and BS is not connected with Ireland. It cannot be restored once successfully renounced. It can be deprived. Holders of such passports do not possess the right of abode in the UK. They can enter the UK for up to six months as a visitor but must obtain an entry clearance to remain in the UK for activities that last longer than six months. They also need authorizations to work and reside in the UK. Only BSs connected with Ireland have the right of abode in the UK. BNO's who held no other citizenship on or before 19 March 2009 are entitled to register as British citizens, subject only to the good character requirement. The relevant date for BOCs, BSs and BPPs was 4 July 2002. Provisions regarding eligibility to the BNO status can be found in Section 4 of the Hong Kong British Nationality Order 1986, as amended by Section 2 of the Hong Kong British Nationality Amendment Order 1993. History Background 
By the late 1970s, it had become a public concern in British Hong Kong that the 99-year land lease of the New Territories, a major region north of Kowloon and Hong Kong Island, to the United Kingdom would expire in around 20 years. Governor McLehose first raised this question during his office in Hong Kong. The public concern immediately resulted in a series of negotiations between the Chinese and British governments in the early 1980s on the future prospect of Hong Kong. After rounds of intense negotiations, both countries signed the Sino-British Joint Declaration on the 9th of December 1984. The declaration stated that the British would give up sovereignty and administration in Hong Kong on the 1st of July 1997, when China resumes her sovereignty over the city. The signing of this declaration was initially well received by the international community, despite widespread fear in Hong Kong that Chinese sovereignty would mean authoritarian, one-party rule with a communist economic system. As a response to this fear, the late chairman Deng Xiaoping came up with the promise of one country, two systems, two systems in operation within the same country. His gesture was able to resume temporarily trust and confidence in the future of Hong Kong. In order to further increase confidence among the British dependent territories citizens in Hong Kong, Margaret Thatcher's government introduced a new class of British nationality, through the Hong Kong Act 1985, which was one of the provisions in the United Kingdom Memorandum to the Sino-British Joint Declaration. This would allow the British nationals of Hong Kong to retain an appropriate relationship with the United Kingdom after 1 July 1997. Topic. Creation of the Nationality, Hong Kong Act 1985 The new class of British nationality, known as British National Overseas, was created by the Hong Kong Act 1985. This new type of nationality would be granted for life upon successful registration but non-hereditary. British dependent territories citizens who chose not to register immediately would remain as such, but cease to be a British national upon their BDTC's expiry on 1 July 1997. The 1985 Act was brought into effect by the Hong Kong British Nationality Order 1986. Article 4 of the Order 1986 gave the provision that adults and minors who had a connection to Hong Kong were entitled to register as British nationals overseas. Becoming a British national overseas was therefore neither an automatic nor an involuntary process. Therefore, some eligible persons who had the requisite connection with Hong Kong never applied to become British nationals overseas. To make it involuntary or automatic would have been contrary to the assurances as given to the Chinese government, as a result, the words, eligible to, were chosen for paragraph a of the United Kingdom Memorandum to the Sino-British Joint Declaration. Any person, who failed to register as a British national overseas by 1 July 1997 and would thereby be rendered stateless, automatically became a British overseas citizen under Article 6 of the Hong Kong British Nationality Order 1986. The deadline for applications passed in 1997. <laughs> Acquisition of BN after 1 July 1997 It is not possible to gain the British national overseas status after its final registration deadline of 31 December 1997, even by any person who has connections by means of birth or permanent residence in Hong Kong before 1 July 1997, BN -O status cannot be passed down to descendants of current BN -O through Zhu Sanguinis, so any children born on or after 1 July 1997 to parents who are British national overseas cannot acquire the status, and they either acquire Chinese nationality or the special status known as British Overseas Citizen, based on their parents' other nationalities. The total population of British national overseas, therefore, would continue to decline over the next decades and eventually be extinct. <laughs> <laughs> Registration procedure The registration process of the British National overseas started on 1 July 1987. Applications were lodged at Hong Kong's Immigration Department, passport offices in the United Kingdom, governments of British dependent territories, or British diplomatic missions abroad. Unlike registration procedures of other classes of British nationality, there was no certificate of registration issued to successful applicants. 
Instead, all those who opted for the status were required to make an application for a British national overseas passport at the time of registration, and a BN -O passport remains today the sole legal document to demonstrate one's BN -O status. In the first few years, the majority of BDTC in Hong Kong opted not to register for BN -O, so only 15% of the total passport applications in Hong Kong were for the BN -O passport. In order to avoid peaks in the registration process towards the 1st of July, 1997, the British government, by means of enacting the Hong Kong British Nationality Amendment Order 1993, divided BDTCs into several groups in 1993 by their year of birth. Each group was given a deadline for registering as BN -S until 30 September 1997. All applicants who did not register within the time frame of their age groups were required to provide a legitimate explanation in writing, or they could be denied registration. The status of BDTC in Hong Kong officially ceased to exist after 1 July 1997. Those who had acquired BDTC between 1 January and 30 June 1997, however, were allowed to register until 30 September of the same year, three months after the transfer of sovereignty of Hong Kong. In light of the United Kingdom Memorandum to the Joint Declaration, 31 December 1997 was the last day for any eligible person to register for the British national overseas. <laughs> <laughs> British Nationality Selection Scheme 1990. After a brief period of optimism after Deng Xiaoping's promise of retaining Hong Kong's British common law system, safeguarding the independence of judicial proceedings from government intervention and preserving the capitalist market economy, initial response to the registration for BN -O was unenthusiastic. On 4 June 1989, the massacre of unarmed university students at the Tiananmen Square protest in Beijing, however, eliminated the credibility of the Chinese government among the residents of Hong Kong. Under pressure from the Legislative Council of Hong Kong, the Government of United Kingdom created a selection scheme to grant full British citizenship to 50,000 families based on a meritocratic points system. After the transfer of sovereignty As of 31 December 1997, around 3.4 million of Hong Kong's British Dependent Territories citizens successfully registered as British National overseas, and there were around 2.7 million of British National overseas passports in circulation. About 2.5 million permanent residents of Hong Kong were not eligible to register for the British National overseas. Many of them were not British dependent territory citizens, due to the fact that they had immigrated often illegally from mainland China. As a result, these people with Chinese nationality only acquired the permanent resident status of Hong Kong automatically after seven years of residence. Naturalizing as a BDTC, however, is a separate and voluntary process, so only few of the Chinese immigrants chose to become BDTCs. Thus, almost all of them were unable to obtain passports of any country the issuance of Chinese passport was restricted to officials traveling on government duty until the 1980s. As a temporary resolution, the colonial government issued Hong Kong Certificate of Identity, commonly known as C, as a travel document to these immigrants. Because all sea holders who were born in mainland China were nationals of China, the nationality status of these people remain unchanged after the handover although they could apply for the HKSAR passport after 1 July 1997. Some British Dependent Territories citizens were also chosen by the British Nationality Selection Scheme, thus holding full British citizenship. Prior to the transfer of sovereignty, the personal information of BN -S were collected and managed by the Immigration Department of Hong Kong. From 1998, the Hong Kong Regional Passport Processing Center RPPC of the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, a department under the British Consulate General of Hong Kong, took over the responsibility of administering the personal information database of BN -O. In 2013, the RPPO was closed following the decision to transfer all overseas passport applications to Her Majesty's Passport Office in the UK. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Loss of British national overseas status. 
Since 1 July 1997, the only way to relinquish one's BN status is to make a voluntary application to the Home Secretary. Prior to that day, the loss of one's BN status is tied to the loss of their BDTC status. By renunciation Unlike that of the other classes of British nationality, the clause on renunciation of BN status is not included in the British Nationality Act 1981, but in the Hong Kong British Nationality Order 1986. Article 7 10 of the order specified that BN S may renounce their BN status in the same manner as British citizens under Section 12 of the 1981 Act. To renounce their BN status, the applicant must be over 18 years of age, be of sound mind, and is able to demonstrate that they either currently possess another citizenship or nationality including an additional class of British nationality, or will acquire another citizenship or nationality after renunciation, in line with other inactive classes of British nationality e.g., British overseas citizenship, British protected person and British subject status, there is no course to restore one's BN status once renounced. However, the renunciation will be voided and the BN status will be automatically resumed if the following conditions are satisfied. The applicant has yet to acquire another citizenship or nationality after the six-month period from the date of renunciation, and the applicant is de jure stateless after renunciation. By loss of British dependent territories citizenship prior to 1997 Under Article 4 3 of the 1986 Order, a person's status as a British national overseas was tied to their status as a British dependent territory citizen. Hence, a person who had registered as a BN would cease to be a BN if they had voluntarily renounced their BDTC status, or their BDTC status was automatically lost or revoked e.g., they had been selected by the British Nationality Selection Scheme as British citizens, as all BDTCs connected with Hong Kong lost that status on 1 July 1997, this clause is no longer relevant from that day onwards. <laughs> Passports and visa requirements for BN -O. British nationals overseas are entitled to apply for BN passports. The design of such passports are the same as the British citizen passports, but without the text European Union on the front cover. All BN passports issued after 2007 are biometric passports. Since 2015, the UK government is not seeking further expansion of visa-free travel worldwide for BN passport holders residing in Hong Kong. Topic. Rights and privileges Topic. United Kingdom Topic. Civic rights British nationals overseas are Commonwealth citizens and therefore enjoy certain rights when visiting or residing in the United Kingdom. Under British laws, BN S are not considered foreign nationals in the UK, and BN S do not require a visa or entry certificate when visiting the United Kingdom for less than six months. When residing in the United Kingdom, BN S have the same rights as Commonwealth citizens, including the exemption of requirement to register with the local police, eligibility to serve in the non-reserved posts of the Her Majesty's Civil Service, and eligibility of voting in local, national and European elections. British nationals overseas can be conferred British honours, receive peerages and become peers of the House of Lords. If they also hold the indefinite leave to remain, they are eligible to stand in election for the House of Commons of the United Kingdom and local government in the United Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> Working holiday British nationals overseas can apply to enter the United Kingdom on a working holiday visa under the Tier 5 Youth Mobility Scheme YMS. 
They do not face an annual quota or require a government or employer as their sponsor in order to take part in the scheme. Any BNO applicants with funds of £1,890 or more and aged 18 to 30 are eligible to apply. Working holiday visa also known as entry clearance holders are free to perform employment activities with certain restrictions in the United Kingdom for up to two years. This privilege is shared by British Overseas Citizens and British Overseas Territories Citizens, although all BOTCs became full British citizens on 21 May 2002. Topic. British citizenship British nationals overseas with other citizenship or nationalities can be registered instead of being naturalised as British citizens under Section 4 of the British Nationality Act 1981. To qualify for registration, the applicant must have held indefinite leave to remain for more than 12 months have resided in the UK for five years or more with no more than 450 days absence from the UK in the last five years when absent from the UK, only Crown service for a bot counts toward the residence period, have not been absent from the UK for more than 90 days in the last 12 months immediately before the application, and have not breached any immigration laws in the five year period immediately before the application. Registration under Section 4 confers British citizenship otherwise than by descent, meaning that their children born outside the UK will be British citizens by descent. Alternatively, they may apply for naturalisation, which requires the applicants to meet knowledge and language requirements, e.g., by passing the Life in the United Kingdom test in addition to residency requirements. However, there is a shorter residence period for persons married to British citizens seeking naturalisation instead of registration three years as opposed to five years. For those without other citizenship or nationality, Section 4B of the British Nationality Act 1981, as amended by the Borders, Citizenship and Immigration Act 2009, provides a way for them to register as British citizens without any type of residence in the United Kingdom. To qualify, they must have not renounced, voluntary given up, or lost through action or inaction any citizenship or nationality. Registering as a British citizen has no effect on one's BNO status, although the person would be ineligible for a BNO passport if he or she has acquired a British citizen passport. Instead, the British citizen passport will have an additional annotation stating the person's right of abode in Hong Kong as well as the person's additional British national overseas status. Hong Kong Because a person's BNO status is no longer associated with his or her resident status of Hong Kong after 1997, no special rights or privileges are accorded to persons with BNO status by the Hong Kong SAR government, except for the fact that holders of BNO passports may enter Hong Kong without a visa or an entry permit under any circumstances. Topic. Possible loss of the right of abode Contrary to the passport's annotation which states a holder of a BNO passport has the right of abode in Hong Kong, a BNO will lose their right of abode under paragraph 6, Schedule 1 of the Immigration Ordinance cap. 115, if he or she does not possess Chinese nationality, and has permanent residence or citizenship in a country or region other than Hong Kong, and has been absent from Hong Kong for more than 36 months since 1 July 1997. This clause applies to any non-Chinese national who was a Hong Kong permanent resident before 1 July 1997 and has subsequently migrated to another country or region. However, persons who lose the right of abode acquire the right to land automatically, a status which accredits most of the rights and responsibilities of permanent residents. The only difference is that persons with the right to land can be subject to a deportation order, and the person will then lose his or her right to land when the deportation order is in force. A deportation order can be issued to a person who has been convicted of a crime in Hong Kong which is punishable by two years or more in prison, or has been ordered by the chief executive to leave Hong Kong, who has the right to do so for the public good. Under these scenarios, a BNO whose right to land is deprived will be deported from Hong Kong, and he or she will be de facto stateless if his permanent residency in another country is also expired or revoked. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Restrictions. Topic: China. Although British nationals overseas are British nationals under British nationality law, most of them are also of Chinese descent. As a result, all BNOs with Chinese ancestry, who were born or naturalised in Hong Kong, are dual nationals of UK and China due to a special legislation implanted in Hong Kong since the handover of sovereignty. One clause of the legislation granted Chinese nationality to those who are of Chinese descent and were born on Hong Kong soil, even after the handover, while the other clause declared all types of British nationalities acquired by the city's Chinese residents as illegitimate, including BN and British citizenship acquired through the BNSS. Moreover, China does not recognize dual nationality for its nationals, and Chinese authorities considered these dual nationals solely as Chinese nationals. Chinese nationality also cannot be terminated for Chinese descent residents holding BN -O or British citizenship acquired through the BNSS. As a result, BN -S are not entitled to British consular protection in mainland China, Hong Kong, and Macau. During a high profile case in April 2005, Ching Chung, a senior journalist of the Straits Times of Singapore with dual British national overseas status and Chinese nationality, was detained by Chinese government for alleged espionage activities by providing state secrets to Taiwan. Until Ching's release in February 2008, the British government refused to provide consular protection, despite petitions by civil rights groups to the Foreign and Commonwealth Office. FCO. The FCO explained that they could provide assistance to Qing, but they simply could not intervene in the judicial proceedings of other countries. Taiwan Under its law, the Taiwanese government classifies British nationals overseas as permanent residents of Hong Kong and Macau. Thus, BNOs are subject to entry restrictions on the same basis as HKSAR passport holders. Topic: <laughs> United Kingdom. British nationals overseas are subject to immigration controls and do not have the right of abode in the UK. From 6 April 2015, all British nationals overseas staying in UK for longer than six months will be required to pay a health surcharge in order to access National Health Service benefits offered to permanent UK residents. The status of BN -O was specially created for British dependent territories citizens of Hong Kong in 1985. Fearing a massive influx of immigrants from former British colonies, the Conservative government under Margaret Thatcher refused to grant the right of abode in the United Kingdom to residents of Hong Kong. The only exception is that a British national overseas who was born before 1983 and has been a British citizen up to the same year, could renounce his or her British citizenship without losing the right of abode in the UK. In late January 2016, the British government announced that holders of HKSAR passports are eligible to register for the Registered Traveller Service RTS, which enables them to clear UK immigration using EU, EEA citizen lanes or e-passport gates. The service is not yet available to BN -O passport holders, and a Foreign and Commonwealth Office spokesperson said that the majority of BN -O passport holders are also holders of a Hong Kong Special Administrative Region passport which would enable them to apply for the Registered Traveller Service if they are in one of the eligible categories. <laughs> <laughs> European Union Prior to the enactment of European Union Directive of 1932-2006, British nationals overseas were not included in the Annex II of Council Regulation (EC) No. 539/2001, and hence needed a Schengen visa to visit the Schengen area. Only British nationals overseas using Hong Kong SAR passports to enter Schengen area could be exempted from obtaining a visa, as HKSAR passport was included in the Annex II. Under the European Union Directive of 1932-2006, British nationals overseas were added to Annex II as British citizens who are not nationals of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland for the purposes of community law. For immigration purposes, 
and EU legislation named visa requirements for nationals of non-EU member countries provided BN -O visa free access to the European Union while specifying them as non-EU citizens. Topic: Criticism The creation of a new class of British nationality with fewer privileges was met with criticism from many Hong Kong residents who felt that British citizenship would have been more appropriate in light of the moral debt owed to them by the UK. Some British politicians and magazines also criticised the creation of BN -O status. The British Nationality Law 1981 has been criticised by experts, as well as by the Committee on the Elimination of Racial Discrimination of the United Nations, on the grounds that the different classes of British nationality it created are, in fact, closely related to the ethnic origins of their holders. Topic see also Travel documents British Passport British National Overseas Passport Hong Kong Special Administrative Region Passport Exit and Entry Permit Republic of China Nationality Laws British Dependent Territories Citizen British Nationality Law and Hong Kong Nationality Law of the People's Republic of China Other visa requirements for British nationals Overseas British Consulate General Hong Kong Second Class Citizen Sino-British Joint Declaration National Without Household Registration equals equals notes.